Hi everyone, in this video we're going to review Callie, and Callie's stats are as follows. She's got health of 9,537, which is good health. Her damage is 3,727, which is really, really bad. Probably one of the worst. Like, I don't, I don't understand why her damage is this low at level 14, but uh, maybe in gameplay it's a little bit different. Her speed is 81, also very slow. Now let's look at her passive. Her passive says hidden meditation, which means after Callie hides inside tall grass for a while, her weapons get a damage up bonus. So she gets a little boost for damage if she's hiding in the grass for a little while. So I guess they want us to camp a little bit with Callie to get her damage boost up and then go in on the attack. The active is Eucalyp. Callie leaps using her Eucalyptus stick, stopping on its apex or the top to shoot with a bigger range, then falling off afterwards. The stick breaks faster if damaged. So while Callie's up on the stick, she can throw her bombs and things farther, but she can also take uh, a lot of damage and the stick can break. Um, the stick dynamic is an interesting one. We'll find out during gameplay how that goes. Her primal instinct is that Callie gets a speed boost when she hops off her eucalyptus stick. So there's a little bit of speed boost. Hopefully her speed improves enough that it's worth it. In terms of her weapons, we've got a bomb throw. It's kind of like a medium range bomb throw. It's not short by any means. It's a good range. Then we have the arrow rain, which if you have the radius... You know, you can really have a large spread, which is really nice. Then we've got the Spartan Spear also, which you are familiar with because of Wanda. He was the first one who had that weapon. And if you hop on the little eucalyptus stick, you really got a nice range for that. Wanda's range is very small, but for Kali, the range is pretty good for that weapon. And it's, it's, it's really nice. So that's what we have in terms of our skins. We've got the regular Kali. Then we've got the backpack or outback Kali. Then we've got this new one called Star Hero Kali. Kind of reminds me of that Max skin with the helmet, the Racer Max. And then we have this cool one, Elemental Master Kali. This is my favorite one out of all of them. Don't have it unlocked yet, but one day we'll get it unlocked. Then we have the Beach Party Kali with the little beach outfit getup going on. We don't have that unlocked, so we're just going to keep our outback Kali. We're going to give it a go. Uh, one thing I wanted to mention with the bomb though is that she's got extra ammo for the bombs like Max She's similar to Max in that way in a couple of ways, I guess. So she's got this three Bombs and if you max out the range on them, you really can throw three bombs uh, Far into the distance, which is pretty useful in terms of the items. Here's what we've got because she's got extra bombs I kept the cluster bomb for this because uh, she has three bombs plus you add the cluster bombs that's a lot of bombs you can throw around and you can get a lot of damage uh, from from characters that way because the damage is so low so we want to max that out. We have holy sandals, vampire teeth and jungle shoes and you can see the rest of the unlocked items but really these are the best ones for Kali right now. Let's go ahead and play our first solo and see what the gameplay is like and here we are in the zoo rail zoo which I don't like. It's too much going on in the zoo immediately. And then the lobby of 45 means that you're not going to get a chance to really pick up everything. Okay, yeah, very slow. Immediately I feel she is very slow. The jungle shoes are definitely a must. Okay, yeah. There you go. Okay, so the weapons are all in. Let's climb up and let's see what we got. Okay. So we can definitely use these weapons strategically. The three bombs are definitely helpful. The arrows, the rain arrows are pretty good. The only problem with this I see so far is that we don't have um, we don't have a good range. Not not range. I mean, we don't have a good field of view. So when I stand up, for example on my eucalyptus stick. I don't see over inside the grass. It would have been nice if they like did that somehow, where if you stand up, you can see who's hiding in the grass, right? And the bombs don't go out very quickly. So I guess that's true for bombs all the time, but this is what I mean, right? Oh, they said we should hide in the bushes to get a damage boost. So that's what we'll do. And I can see there's a little flashing light thing. Oh, wow. Okay, so there you go, we'll take this guy came at us and made a mistake so yeah the damage boost apparently was good but that was like a level one character so we can't really judge the damage based on that here 
The jungle boosts are very handy, but I'm gonna hide in the grass for a little bit and get my damage boost up again. And then ri rise up. Throw these bombs. There you go. Okay, so we got, we got a little kill like that. Okay, that was good. Definitely a different kind of gameplay you have to get used to. It's not simple. Alright, it's definitely something you have to learn. Definitely destroyed everybody there. There you go. Got a lot of health kits. We're doing a lot of damage, so that's pretty cool. And then we also have this Iris that's trying. So somebody like Iris, I guess, would be used to, useful to kind of attack uh, from a distance using your eucalyptus stick because you don't want to get poisoned by that iris, right? So I like that. Let me just test out the ranges, the regular range of our Spartan spears. Spartan spear is this, the regular range and spread of the bow and arrow shower rain, what I call the shower arrows, is this. The bomb's regular range is this. It's medium range, less than Milo, but more than like roots. Okay, and now if we climb up, we're gonna try all three weapons climbing up also. So let's decide to climb up this way. That's the range, that's the bomb, and this is, wow. All right, so the range for the, the spear, the Spartan spear was the best one I felt like. And that's a good weapon. I think it does some damage. It's a fun weapon, it's unique, it's different. Until they gave to you know, Cali. Oh, there you go. Somebody just died and we won. So that's Cali for you. We got 11 kills. We do have to get used to her climbing up the eucalyptus stick and stay in the grass for a little bit to get your boost up for the damage because her damage is very low. And probably with tougher characters, high level characters, Cali is really going to struggle. That low damage is no good. Uh, you don't want a very low damage character and Cali seems to be that. But health isn't terrible. She seems to be able to survive a, a little onslaught for a moment. The jungle boots are definitely a must item. Her bombs are some of her best weapons if you use them correctly. You got three of them. Maybe add cluster to that and see how you know much destruction you can <laughs> you can uh, put on people. But I like Kelly, but I can't make her my main because of her do low damage because it just takes too long to kill uh, another opponent using Kali, right? And then when you also do your active, you don't get to decide where you want to plant the stick. You just get to decide the direction. So uh, you can't decide how far or close to you you want the stick to go. It's the same distance every time. So you have to be very careful how you place that because you don't want to place it into a battle right you want to go away from the battle so that was hard for me during the gameplay to decide very quickly where do i want her if you're in the midst of a battle it's going to be difficult for you to like quickly tap it because she's just going to go in any direction and it might be that she goes deeper into a trouble situation and and then when she gets off the stick like they all attack her Right, so you want to get away from everybody when you do the stick. That's something to remember. Let us know what you think about Callie in the comments below. And until next time, peace.